Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of pagination and in this part I'm going to show you how to make the links in bold whenever we click them okay and I'm going to also uh, show you how to make a next and a previous button in here so let's go and to start to start doing those uh, bold numbers I'm going to use uh, this technique that we used in here to make an if statement or a short if statement and to do that uh, first let's copy this copy let's take this out semicolon as well and let's echo uh, the condition will be in here this is the how um, we open curly braces and this is the else statement okay um, now the condition is if x and you know that x means this numbers each number of this is an x so if x equals exactly to page to the variable page this means that the variable page is this one here okay so now uh, variable page is equal to 5 but if I go to 4 you'll see that it will change here to 4 page page the variable page is now equal to 4 so what I'm saying is that when I click number 4 which is the X um, variable so if I click X variable 4 here and it's equal to uh, the page the variable page 4 okay so they are the same um, do this uh, code here which is going to be uh, the bold okay so I'm saying that whenever I click 4 and this is 4 this will be in bold the 4 is going to be in bold if I click 5 okay and this is 5 5 is going to be in bold and the other ones uh, are not in bold so to do that that's why I'm using a condition an if condition so if the number I click is the number that is in the URL basically do the code this code here which is the B for uh, bold and a href let's do a better a faster thing which is the paste I pasted it before so href and in here we will type bold and I'm going to close the bold here so the number will be in bold and uh, let's leave it a space there and else let's paste again and else the number is going to be or the page number which is these ones here is going to be normal okay a normal font let's see if uh, it works and if you click refresh there it is if I click 6 6 is in uh, bold and the other ones are not if I click 7 our bold, uh, the 7 is bold okay so each time I click the number or the page I want to be the um, that page or that number is going to be uh, in bold okay perfect so now I'm going to show you how to make the next and previous buttons to jump from page to page so to do that we have to type first a variable called prev and that variable is going to be equal to page uh, minus one okay and the next variable is going to be page plus one okay and this uh, will um, uh, this will uh, rest or will take a page out of the variable page okay so it will uh, go to the previous page or it will aggregate uh, a page uh, number one okay uh, so this is going to be page minus one every time we click uh, here which is a variable now but I will uh, put both uh, I will put this variable in um, in the link and uh, 
uh, every time we click next page plus one okay we will go to the next page so it's pretty logic so now let's type the links or the buttons so to start let's do the first the previous button is going to be a link so let's echo that link so let's type a href equals and now pagination which is the number the name of the file where the script is and now let's type the name of the variable page equals so page is going to be equal to uh, to this variable here which is the previous okay because this is going to be the link to to the previous uh, page so let's type here prev a and let's give it a space here and let's save this and now let's refresh and perfect we have a previous if I click 3 I click here we go every time I click it's going to be uh, minus 1 minus 1 okay remember that I said that previous is page minus 1 okay so if I'm in page 4 I click here is going to be page minus 1 3 page I click page minus 1 2 okay so let's build now the next button which is a page plus 1 and you can copy this and paste it and the only the only thing you have to change is here variable page is going to be equal to variable next and in here you can type next okay so let's save this and let's refresh and perfect we have next and previous buttons if I click here you see that we are going we are jumping from page to page forward if I click here we are going backwards okay the problem is that when I reach one which is the first page of my list I click again and an error appear so to solve this uh, I want whenever I am in the first page the list uh, I don't want this button to appear and also whenever I'm in the last page I don't want the next to appear because if I click next again now uh, some little strange you see it's going on and on here 11 12 I don't want that to happen so uh, we have to make uh, if conditions in here okay and an if condition to the uh, previous button is going to be able to show the button only when we are not in the first page and to do that we type if if and open curly braces close curly braces so if uh, let's say first if we are in page one so to do this let's type if we are equal to page one okay if page one is equal to one um, show the code okay uh, but this is wrong because I want to show the button I want the button to show whenever we are not in page one okay um, and also we are not under page one of course so we have to type here uh, if page is less than or equal to one okay um, and in here we have to type this symbol oops the not symbol okay and this not is going to say that uh, this uh, is uh, if page is not less or equal to one 
okay which it means that we are not uh, in one or less than one we are in uh, two page two three four or five uh, show the button previous okay otherwise this button uh, will hide or this link so if you see I click refresh and uh, we don't have the previous button and if I click two, the, the previous button will appear now if I click three you see the button is there four the button is there five the button is there if I previous to the one to the first page previous button out okay perfect so it works and now for but for the um, link next we also type an if condition to say whatever whenever you are in the last page of the pagination um, uh, hide yourself okay so here we type also not and in here we type page if page uh, is not bigger or equal to pages okay pages is the last number because it's the calculation of uh, how many uh, pages we need if we divide uh, all the users okay uh, by page so this is uh, basically the um, the um, uh, variable pages okay so this is now uh, seven this is the seven so if page is not bigger or equal to pages it means that we are not in seven we are in six five or whatever page we are so button next can appear okay if uh, if not it's because we are in seven and the next button will hide so let's uh, save this let's refresh we are in one click next 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 and when we reach seven you see the button is hide or uh, is out okay so uh, basically I think that's it and we have all uh, functionality we need in uh, pagination and after this what I'm going to show you in the next video is how to um, put this in your or in um, our uh, CRUD test site okay and um, change our we have to change a little bit the code of our um, pages okay of our uh, PHP file scripts of all the pages in the CRUD test site to um, put the pagination uh, functionality on uh, in every single each page okay remember we had we can go there right away let's type home.php okay if I click uh, edit user instead of having all uh, this list big list I want to have only five or six um, users and then here we will have the pagination okay to go forward or backward okay so see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye